Okay, so uh, I had a Christmas staff party uh, last night, and we went uh, bowling. Probably be videos of uh, that up uh, up later. Um, yeah, so it was bowling and bring your own beer, and it was some sort of weird bingo bowling thing. Not that it matters. Uh, at any rate, my brother, who else who uh, works at the same place I do, um, we. Uh, we we brought our own booze. Uh, he bought Oland. He, he was asking me what sort of beer, uh, some what sort of beer he should uh, he should buy to to go to, to go because he's not much of a beer drinker really. He doesn't drink hardly at all. So I suggested that Oland or Schooner or uh, something along those lines would uh, would be probably the best thing for him, and it would be best if he got cans. So he picked up a 12 pack of cans of Oland and he took a few with him. Um, so that gives me the opportunity now to uh, actually review Oland because uh, I don't think I'd probably buy like a whole 12 pack on my own just to uh, just to re just to review it. Uh, I'm not saying that it's horrible or anything. It's just I, t I tend not to uh, uh, throw my money at uh, loggers and things like that. That uh, because beer is pretty expensive here in Nova Scotia, so okay. At any rate, uh, this is Olin Export Ale. Um, it's uh, the brew. The Olin Brewery is also essentially the same as the Alexander Keys Brewery, but they they uh, can they, they brew their beers all under the same roof. I guess is what I'm saying. And they now brew their beers for Labatt, who. Uh, who sort of uh, owns who owns them? Eh, Labatt bought bought out Keith and Oland, I guess, or they're in a partnership with them at least. And so, uh, anyway, Oland, uh, the original brewery was uh, owned by the Oland family, which is apparently uh, a pretty uh, well-known family here in the Maritimes. Uh, I guess one of, I guess one of the one of the family members was a governor general or something like that. Uh, they own the Blue Nose and I think perhaps either they owned the original Blue Nose ship or they uh, they at the very least they owned the, the Blue Nose too and helped build it or whatever. But uh, the Blue Nose of course is a really really famous ship from Nova Scotia and Schooner actually has the uh, Blue Nose on it. That's schooner was in, introduced in the 1950s and essentially they they used the blue nose as their uh, marketing image uh, you call it boat beer i guess and so anyway uh this beer has been around since about the 1920s and uh it's five percent abv and i said as i said it's an ale not a lager so it'll be interesting to see what a Sort of a, a mass a mass produced ale. You usually don't get those. Usually you just get the uh, mass produced lagers, the big macro lagers. You don't usually get macro ales. So we'll see how it goes. I got my McClay's glass here. Oh yeah. By the way, my hands are fucked up. I got blisters on my fingers. That's pretty disgusting. Uh, and I'm all fucked up here, and even got my lip sort of cut up. And no, it's not because I was in a fight. It was just after the party, walking home, which was a dumb idea. We only walked half. We only walked a little bit before we got a cab. But I kind of the beer kind of hit me. I had a bottle of Chimay, and I had some Keys before that. And yeah, it was one of those uh, one of those violent uh, violent reactions that you get where you think you're okay until, until you stand up and suddenly you find your legs don't work so <laughs> I'm pretty fucked up today okay so anyway as you can see it's it's got a, a really it's a, it's a very pale kind of ale okay it's it's nice and nice and uh, has a lot of nice transparency in it uh, very bubbly very very bubbly you can probably see it uh, and it gives it kind of a, a nice kind of really foamy head. Uh, I don't know if that's uh, a natural thing for the beer or if there's just some uh, chemicals in there to uh, to get it to stay like that. But anyway, it's it's yeah, it's a pale golden color. 
very nice looks like a beer doesn't it okay so I'm going to take a smell now hmm <clears throat> essentially it smells like a lager um, it doesn't have uh, ale smells tend to be you know you tend to get more uh, more bitterness in the nose uh, you tend to pick up uh, you know like exotic fruit smells uh, caramel things like that not with this one this this smells like um, Smells like a lager, more, much more like a lager than an ale. And it's not a bad smell, it's actually really good. Kind of a sweetness there. And it's, it's nice, it's a nice smell, it smells like beer. It definitely smells like beer, okay. So uh, I'm going to take a taste now. Jeez, that's still bubbling. Look at that. Isn't that something? That's attractive at least. Okay, so uh, we're going to take a taste now. A little bit watery, um, a bit watery for an ale, but um, it's not bad. Um, Olin doesn't have a lot of taste or character for an ale, um, but it's not it's not terrible. Um, the thing the thing about it is it's got sort of um, just a very very mild bitterness, and it's it's a sort of a nice nice kind of taste. And at the end, there's a bit of sweetness in the back of the mouth. Take another little swig of it here. Hmm. Yeah, it tastes more like a lager than it does an ale. Hmm. Yeah, there's a sweetness. There's there's quite a bit of little sweetness in the back there. But as I said, it tastes more like a lager than an ale. And that being said, it's actually um, very nice. Um, I, I, as I said, I probably wouldn't go out and buy a 12-pack of this, but um, <clears throat> this is an excellent party beer. It's not as watery as uh, Schooner, uh, and Schooner's an excellent party beer, too. This one has a bit more flavor to it. Um, it's definitely worth picking up. I would probably... Um, I I'd, I'd definitely recommend this beer for... Uh, anyone who wants something just uh, sort of mild and decent <laughs> something they can uh, they can slug down without any problem uh, all an export is a win-win uh, if, if you're picking up beers here in Nova Scotia I'd pick this up before I pick up say Labatt Blue or uh, or Molson Canadian or um, uh, hell I might even pick this up Given given the ch the choice, I'd probably maybe even pick uh, pick up like an eight pack of this instead of uh, Alexander Keys. Um, yeah. Anyway, so um, I'll probably give this about a three out of five. Uh, mo usually, uh, if I give a sort of a, a macro uh, logger uh, passing grade, it's usually just a two two point five out of five. Uh, you know, if it's just like a typical kind of okay kind of lager, just sort of a party beer or whatever, just, you know, grandpa beer or something like that. Um, but this, this is okay. It's nice. Um, like I said, it's not so much an ale as it is a lager more. It sort of tastes like a lager, but that being said, it tastes like a pretty good, pretty good lager. So, um, and given the, look at the foam some nice lacing and foam there too so it does have some sort of ale characteristic I don't know if that's just uh, chemically produced or what but um, just to, you know make it look like an ale but um, yeah 3 out of 5 for uh, Olin Export it's not bad